Welcome to Newbie Coop. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Newbie Coop Backyard Barbecue and Grilling. I'm your host, Jazz, and today I'm starting this video with my new camera, and I'm super excited about it. So, uh, but like I said, you gotta forgive me because I'm keep looking off to the side here. But I, I'm, I'm gonna get used to it, I promise. Um, but we are cooking today. We are going to cook. It's Sunday. It's a beautiful day outside. It's a little chilly yet, but it's a nice day outside. But we are going to cook us another meatloaf. Now, I was talking to my buddy over, over at Triple B's Barbecue, old Chef Smooth, and he uh, mentioned that uh, I probably should do a meatloaf. He had just done a meatloaf. But I've actually done one in the past, but I'm going to do one a little bit different today. I'm going to try to... I don't know how to explain this. I like to make things up. Like, I have these thoughts in my head, and I'm like, oh, I should try that. I'm going to try that. So today, for our meatloaf, not only are we going to make just a basic meatloaf, but we're going to use a little bit of different seasonings, try to get back to the barbecue roots, you know, get a, not just your salt and pepper, we're going to use some different seasonings instead of salt and pepper. We're going to use uh, a little bit of hardcore carnivore black in our meatloaf today. And uh, also, hold on, we're going to use, instead of breadcrumbs, now, I know this is going to be a little weird for you. We're going to take these, we're going to take these garlic butter croutons and we're going to crush them up and we're going to put these as our breadcrumbs in our meatloaf today. Now I know what you're thinking, yeah you're crazy, you are off your rocker. But if you think about it, breadcrumbs are just croutons that are crushed up really. I mean, it's just it's what it is. But uh, So that's what we're going to try. But I figure like with the croutons, um, they already have flavoring on it. Uh, they already have the butter and the garlic already mixed in on that croutons. So I'm hoping that extra flavor comes through in the meatloaf. So we're gonna find out today. We're gonna see what happens. And uh, anyway, let's get cooking. Um, I gotta get this stuff mixed up. Now, if you can tell, I'm somewhat getting my voice back, but I don't wanna push it. So I probably won't talk just a whole lot in this video. I apologize. I really hope my next couple videos I can talk a little bit more. But uh, for today, we're just going to uh, try to get as much footage for you and try not to talk so I can save my voice. Hopefully it comes back fully the next day or two. So, let's get started, let's get to cooking. make sure it's real nice it's got the mixtures mixed up real nice and uh, we kind of covered in plastic wrap we're gonna go ahead and put this thing in the freezer for well, one to two hours i'm not gonna we don't want to freeze it all the way through but we want to get it so it keeps the form of it and then we'll take it back out and we'll put it on the smoker and we'll, of course we'll unwrap the plastic off of it put it on the smoker and hopefully it'll keep its form the entire time it's smoking so that's kind of the point of or the uh, the idea behind putting it in the freezer is it keeps that shape uh, the entire time. So that's what we're going to do now and then we'll be back with you when we're ready to put it on the smoker.
a little bit and then we'll stick our meat probe in. Loaf is done. It's uh, it's hit, hit 165 degrees. That's where I'm gonna pull it off. Uh, so let's go get it. We're gonna pull it off. We're gonna take a few quick photos of it. I'm gonna snap a few photos with this camera. Hopefully, make some really cool photos with it. But uh, I'm gonna snap a few photos of it. We'll do a quick taste test and then we'll end this video. So let's get after it. Check it out and see if I can get a good shot of it here. Look at that. Look at that smoke ring on that sucker, on that meatloaf. That nice glaze I got going on. All right. We're going to take a bite of this sucker. We're going to see how she tastes. Oh, man. So, you can really taste that garlic and butter. Gives it just this hint of awesomeness in there. That's good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's probably one of the better meatloafs I've ever made. I'm not going to lie to you. It's really good. All right, guys, that is it. That is it for this cook. This is awesome. Um, that meatloaf is killer. Um, super simple recipe. I was actually a little worried, and I didn't tell you guys this. I was a little worried about the breadcrumbs, using the uh, croutons as breadcrumbs. <clears throat> but let me tell you, that worked out. It worked great. I'm super excited about it. I'm super happy with the uh, product that I turned out. Oh, it took a couple hours to cook, and flavor is on point, let me tell you. Real kind of a barbecue flavor mixed with a meatloaf flavor. Got that garlic and butter in there, too. Man, my mouth is still watering. That was awesome. So uh, I'm going to go take this thing inside. I'm gonna, we're going to eat this sucker for dinner, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow me on social media at... Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I always screw that up every time I say it. My voice is getting ready to go again, I swear. So Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at NewBQ2020. TikTok, NewBQ Backyard Barbecue. NewBQ Backyard BBQ. Follow me on TikTok. Uh, I've been trying to put some stuff up there, guys. I really am. Um, anyway, we will see you guys next time on another episode of NewBQ Backyard Barbecue and Grilling. Peace.